Hello everybody. My name's Katie. Welcome back to my fluid art channel. Today I'm going to do a flip cup. A flip and drag. With some paints that I have left over. I've been storing. I've, a few of these colors I've had for a week or more. So, I've never actually done a flip and drag with these colors. So it ought to be interesting. The tape was, the, the back of this painting was taped in the original painting. I've propped it up on small cups. Check the level. If you find that you're not level, instead of using popsicle sticks under your cup because that becomes a mess, you get full of um, paint, put two cups together, it'll make it a little taller. All right, we're good to go. I'm gonna give this canvas a base coat of white. This is Artist Loft soft body paint with a small amount of bare paint and primer satin enamel all of my paints are mixed two to one two parts flow trial to one part paint If you're new to fluid art, this is what I use. You can get it at any hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot. Uh, it's in the paint department. It's actually a paint conditioner, but it works very well as a, as a pouring medium. It'll even help give you some cells. All right, let's tilt this around. Let's go ahead and spread it out. I'm new to YouTube. I haven't figured out how to do all the editing yet. So this is, you're gonna see it from <laughs> start to finish with no editing. Could be humorous. At this point, go ahead and tilt your canvas to get all your paint even. My base coat is slightly thinner than my pouring paints. And that's to aid in possibly getting some cloudy effects using the bare satin enamels. It's moving slow, just break the surface tension. It'll go. The paint you see coming off of my canvas, I recover all of it. What I do is I'll pick up this piece of plastic, gather it all up, cut a hole in the bottom, and uh, drain it out. If it's a color that's Actually, I probably, probably 99% of the time, it's a color that can be used. Whether it's in a pour or it's uh, as a flow extender. It doesn't really have to match as a flow extender because that's going to get poured off your canvas anyway. All right. Oops. 
Lost me cup. All right, we're gonna la layer a cup. Like I said, I have leftover paints. Uh, mostly purples, a blue. I believe it's a cerulean blue. Uh, gold, metallic gold. I have a green. Let's start with this red violet. My paints are fairly thick. Here, let me show you another color. You probably can't see that. It runs off the stick. It leaves a tiny little mound and then it disappears. We're going to layer plus dirty pour. This is a pink metallic that I made. Um, I believe it was magenta and silver, metallic silver paint. Let me get the rest of this out of the cup here. You can make metallics out of, uh, out of any color. If you have a silver metallic paint, let's go with the gold. Let's check the consistency here. Like I said, I've been storing them. Always have water around. Your paints will thicken up as they stand. Good amount of that in there. I also have the green gold. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely gotten thicker. Let's give it a stir. So how is everybody today? That's hot as heck here. I'm in Texas. With some green gold. I have a, I have an interesting light lighter violet color let's put a little more blue in there no actually I have a Payne's gray I want to put a small amount of Payne's gray in there this is a great way to use up your leftover paints I have a copper. Let's go ahead and put some more gold on there. Can't get enough gold. Yeah, I can't have too much gold. All right, let's go back to the... Let's do this one. The darker violet. All right. What we're going to do now is flip the cup. Keep your elbow next to your side and just turn your wrist. One, two, three. Just like that. I can get rid of a few of these cups now that have been sitting around for a while. You want to give a minute for that paint to come down. You can also poke it with a pin and let the suction out. Just like this. Hold on to your cup. Barely drag it. Just slightly pick it up. I 
got away from me there. All right. I always have a stick around to wreck. Let's see. Let's wreck with a bigger stick. Now let's give it a torch. Of course, it's got bubbles after being flipped. Now let's get your bubbles out. Now they'll leave, they'll leave little pinholes in your painting if you don't. And we'll have to torch again because the, the bubbles will keep coming up. Find the weight of your paint. Always start in the middle. Put the weight of your paint in the middle of your canvas. Okay. Let's see. I have lots of bubbles. I mix them, put a little more water in them, so anytime you stir paint or you flip it, you're going to get air bubbles. We have some really cool cells happening right here and here in copper. I don't see the gold yet. Let's come to this corner here. It seems to be where it wants to go. I'm not sure yet if I want negative space or I want the whole painting covered. So we're going to stretch it out a little bit and see what happens. Let's come back this way again. Bring your paint back to the center. I'm sorry, probably out of frame. Looks like I'm going to go ahead and go all the way off this corner. I have too much paint. You have to get rid of enough paint or it will crack. It won't dry right. Open up these cells here. We have this really cool lacing going on with the green over the violet. So let's look at it for a second.
and take it to this corner here. If you like my video, don't forget to like and go ahead and subscribe. Like I said, I'm new to YouTube. And a little encouragement would be nice. And comments, any comments you might have, go ahead and leave them. corner over here. Let's see, do we have anything left in our cup? Yeah. Let's go ahead and cover that corner up. Let's go ahead and torch one more time, see if we can get any more cells. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, go ahead and like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Don't forget to clean off the sides, the bottoms of your canvas. Touch up your corners. You don't want to leave paint underneath. It'll pull the paint from top down. All right, I'm gonna get my gloves off here. I'm gonna see if I can get the camera down to give you a closer look. Excuse the ring light. This is a wild bunch of cells right here. Thank you. Come and see me again. Bye.